Hey listeners, Mark here with the next of our My Rugby League Stories series. This one comes from regular contributor and occasional guest on the show and frontline NHS hero Paul O'Brien. Witness fan Paul, or Pop the Viking as you may know him on Twitter, has been on the show a few times and he's emailed us with what I'm sure is his abbreviated story of following his hometown club, Witness, and also beyond that in, in his rugby league life. So here is Paul's rugby league story. I started watching Witness in the early 80s when I would walk down to Norton Park with my dad. We always stood in the same area, just on the 22 metre line, on the opposite side to the dugouts towards the cow sheds. Match day was a cold winter's day and a bovril and a pie at half time. We had some great player in, players in those days and being able to watch your team win the league and lift the trophy at home was a standout memory. One of the best games I have seen was the World Club Challenge game in 1989 when Witness came from behind to beat Canberra at Old Trafford. As a Witness fan, times have been tough with administration and the team having stints in Super League, but never really getting back to those glory days. In the late 1980s, I decided to become a referee. During my time as a referee, I was thankful to meet some of the great referees like Fred Lindup, John Holdsworth, Bob and John Connolly, Russell Smith and Ray Tennant, to name a few but also to be in the same society as Dave Campbell, Stuart Cummins and Robin Whitfield, who passed on their knowledge of the game and gave me an amazing amount of support. I loved being a referee and as well as an, an officiating the North West Counties and National Conference, I got to touch judge at A-Team and Academy Games and in-goal judge at some Division 2 games. One of my proudest moments was becoming North West Counties Referee of the Year and being part of the Tour to Russia as a match official for the Tour. Unfortunately, due to the career I chose and working weekends, the refereeing had to take a back seat and I retired. Now, pre-Covid, my Sundays are spent watching Witness at home with my dad, like I have done for the past 30 odd years, and now we are joined by both my daughter and son, with away game trips with my daughter. Witness is in my blood and thankfully is something I can pass on to my kids. We may not be the best, but it's my club and I'm Witness till I die. Stay safe everyone. Paul. Thanks to Paul for sharing his story. Uh, I've had the pleasure of meeting Paul and all his great family, his, his dad, his wife, his, his two excellent kids, uh, proper rugby league family. And uh, I've seen, met them a few times over the years. It's been really nice. Uh, and in areas of match officiating, of course, I'll, I'll always give up my completely opinion-based <laughs> comments for Paul's experience. After all, the man is an award winner. If you want to share your rugby league story with us, then you can get in touch, superleaguepod at gmail.com. If, like Paul, you want to send us an email, and we can read out your story, that's great. Or, uh, like John on the on the last episode, you can arrange to have a Skype chat with us, and we can we can record a chat, That that's also cool. Um, or, like David, in the third instalment of my rugby league story, you might want to record it yourself and email that over to us. So, uh, we'd love that too, just, just get in touch, like I say, superleaguepod at gmail.com. And uh, until you hear from us again, like Paul said, stay safe and also uh, hope for better times ahead. Cheers, everyone. Bye.